A surefire way to run a successful local business is by leveraging local SEO. SEMrush, a popular keyword research and marketing platform, has a new feature that offers many powerful local marketing tools to help your local business rank higher on Google, get more clicks, views, and site visits. Essentially, SEMrush Local will help your customers find your business and ultimately drive more sales. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into SEMrush Local. Okay, so to arrive at SEMrush, simply head over to your browser and type in semrush.com or click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here where you can access a 14-day free trial of SEMrush's Pro Plan and you can downgrade to their free plan at any time. Now, as I mentioned, today's focus is to dive into SEMrush Local, which is an app that can be found inside SEMrush. And if you're completely new to SEMrush as an all-in-one SEO, marketing, and keyword research tool, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so go ahead and create a free account with SEMrush and we'll meet you inside your account. Okay, so here we are inside our SEMrush account. Now, if we navigate over to the left-hand side, you can see some powerful tools like competitive research, keyword research, link building, on-page and tech SEO, and more. Again, if you wanna learn more about each of these tools built inside SEMrush, then I'll add the relevant tutorials down below in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and locate the SEMrush local app. Simply navigate up to App Center, and then navigate down to Store. In the search bar, type in SEMrush Local and click here. And if it's your first time using SEMrush Local, you'll see the option to start a free trial. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Go to App as I already have this app installed. And that's gonna take us to SEMrush Local. And there are three main features that you can leverage inside SEMrush Local to benefit your local business and to help your local business get discovered online. The first feature allows you to automatically list and manage your business on the top directories that are relevant to your business. This will save you a ton of time manually adding and managing all your different listings across top directories and online citations. And this is all about building authority online. The second feature that you can find inside SEMrush Local is the ability to centralize all your reviews so that you can quickly respond and manage Google reviews in one platform. The third feature allows you to identify where you stand on Google Maps. Okay, so let's first find our business. And you can find your business by adding your business name, address, or phone number. Now, in order to find your business here, you must have a Google Business Profile listing. If you currently do not have a Google Business Profile, then what I'll do is add a tutorial down below in the description, which will guide you through the process of listing your business on Google Maps and creating a Google Business Profile. Okay, so once you've found your business, go ahead and click on Search. Then here we wanna make sure that our business information is correct. This is because we want to see consistency across all our citations and online directories. This helps create consistency online, which is important for local SEO. A quick way to do this is to ensure that this information, business name, street address, zip, and phone number is exactly the same as it appears on your Google Business Profile listing. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on check. And that's gonna take us to the listing management. Grow your business with listings, data, and reviews all in one platform. And as you can see, our local business profile has a bad online presence. This is in terms of the SEMrush assessment. Here you can see the overall presence is bad, out of 51 listings, 49 listings need to be fixed. However, this listing has high star ratings. Now, if you're managing a client's listing, you can share this with a client, and you can also find another business, or you can export to PDF. If we navigate down the page, you can see all the listings that we need to improve. This business currently does not have a phone number on the directories over here, Google Assistant, Google Business Profile, Google Search, and then this business itself does not have a listing on Bing, Facebook, Instagram, Siri, and more. And you can see all the different directories over here. Essentially, to optimize our local SEO and to get discovered online, we want to list our local business on all the relevant online citations and directories. Now, if we navigate down to show all directories, you might find some directories that are not relevant to your business. And those are the directories that you want to avoid if they're not relevant to your business type. Okay, so let's navigate back up to the top and click on Continue Setup. Here we want to add our business listing to SEMrush Local, come down and set up with Google, 
and all you need to do is navigate through the process of signing in with your Google account that's associated with your Google Business Profile. Choose your Google Business Profile listing, or if you have multiple locations, go ahead and select those. Then come down and click on Confirm. Then here we need to verify your business details. Make sure that your business name, address, service area, phone number, and website is correct. This is vital for local SEO, so take the time and make sure that your business information is correct. Then navigate over to business categories, description and hours, and again update these details and make sure that this information you're adding is correct. Then all you need to do is navigate down to distribute business info, and SEMrush Local will automatically add your business to dozens of relevant websites, which will boost your local SEO and help you get discovered locally online. Okay, so because this is just an example, I'm not going to go ahead and distribute this business info. However, once you've automatically distributed your business info, you can simply manage your listing under Listing Management. Next, let's take a look at Map Rank Tracker. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. As I mentioned earlier, this is where you can monitor your Google Maps ranking with pinpoint accuracy. I'm going to go ahead and add a different business in here. Simply add the business name and location if your business doesn't pop up. And here's the local business that I want to monitor. So we've added the business here, then navigate down to Keywords, click this drop down, and take the time to add keywords that are related to your business. Over on the right hand side, you can see Keywords Recommended by AI. However, I'm going to quickly go ahead and manually add some keywords in here. Think about the keywords that you want your customers to type in on Google search in order to find your business. Then once you've added your keywords, come down to Map Grid, and down here you can see where your business is located, this red pin. This is based on the Google Business Profile, and this is essentially where you service. We want to see how strong our listing is based on our location. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to choose 9x9 nine nine pins. We can change the radius if we like as well, but I'm happy with this. Then navigate down to Schedule, and I'm happy with Weekly on a Tuesday. And this is in terms of the campaign that we're setting up. Then navigate over to Create Campaign. Give SEMrush Local a moment to analyze your business, and it might take some time for your campaign to generate. For some reason, this campaign is taking a while to load. And this is just for the five keywords that I added. Essentially, you want to make sure that your listing is between 1 and 3. This means your listing, your Google Business Profile listing, is relevant in these different locations. So because this campaign is still loading, you can see I only have ones. You can then compare your business or your client's business with other local businesses in the same industry. Next, I want to quickly cover Review Management. Simply navigate over to Review Management. And once you've set up your business listing and connected it with SEMrush Local, and then you've distributed your business information across the different directories, you can then manage your reviews for your listing in here. So again, in order for you to manage your reviews inside SEMrush Local, you need to enter your business name and find your location, then complete the setup of your business listing. This is either manually or connecting your Google account associated to your business profile. And finally, once you've added your business details, you've created consistency across your business details, then you can distribute your business information across the different directories. And following this, you'll have access to manage your reviews inside SEMrush Local. However, that is a brief introduction to SEMrush Local. You can use SEMrush Local to manage your listings, to ensure that you have consistency across the internet, across relevant local directories, you can then monitor and see how your listing ranks locally compared to other competitors by creating a campaign. And then you can also manage all your reviews in one place within SEMrush Local. However, that is a brief introduction to SEMrush Local, a tool used to help you with your local SEO. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief SEMrush Local tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tool, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.